Hello. What's up, guys? How are you? So first of all, how are you finding Brazil? I love it. Uh, we actually extended our stay here a couple of days so that like after the fight, I could just enjoy the beach and enjoy the food and enjoy the weather. It's yeah. been it's been beautiful. Is that part a little bit frustrating that you can't really enjoy it until after the fight? No, no, no. I like what I like. I love what I do. I like my job. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just part of being a professional athlete. And like, it's awesome. I wouldn't I wouldn't trade any of it for anything. Mm -hmm. I feel like with Jessica, you sort of can predict what you're going to get right that she's going to rush forward and try and hit you with some big shots so does that mean your strategy for this fight is you're going to be the matador to the bull or do you come out there and meet her in the middle and show her that you're not going to be bullied i haven't really thought much about what jessica's going to do honestly like I, to me it doesn't matter what she's going to do she can play whatever game she wants she's going to end up fighting my fight so that's it like i just i just think about what i'm going to do to be honest with you is she a name that you're excited to fight? She's quite a big name. The UFC obviously value her. It seems that people who beat her go right up the rankings for the UFC and right straight into title contention. I know that's one you want to get back. So is this a fight that excites you? Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's why I asked for this fight. It's um, it's definitely a tougher fight than my last one. It's kind of it's like a bigger mountain to climb. It's a you know bigger bite to chew. So um, it just presented a, like a whole different style than what Misha presented and. Um, yeah, just a different kind of challenge, and it's it's a hard one, and like that's what I want, so that when I do get back to the title, I'll feel confident and I'll have that experience, and like, um, yeah, just it, for me, it's all about taking those challenges and and seeing how far I can go and seeing what I'm capable of, and she just happened to be like the perfect person in the perfect place at the perfect time. Mm -hmm. Do you think it will be Valentina after Saturday? Do you think you'll get that fight? I don't know. I haven't really thought past like. All I'm thinking about right now is Saturday night and uh, afterward, like, then we can reassess what's going on. Are you surprised Valentina hasn't fought for a while? She's kind of been out of the cage a little longer than she usually has. No. Looked to me like she had a pretty tough fight in her last fight. Like, I think she got all that she could handle and then some in her last fight, so. Did you have her winning that fight or no? No, I, I thought Tyler won that fight. Do you think that's got to be the fight that people look at and be like, okay, there's a route to victory here? I don't know. Who knows what the fuck other people are thinking? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, you know, but uh, I think it definitely showed that, like, she's she's human, you know, and so um, maybe, like, everybody's beatable. Everybody has good days and bad days. Nobody wins forever in this sport. Like, nobody stays undefeated. Nobody wins forever. I mean, there's a couple guys that retired on top and stuff like that, but... Uh, I just don't think Valentina is any different than any other human being on the planet. She's not going to win forever. She's not going to be the champ forever. Like, yeah, she definitely faced some adversity in her last fight. And um, I think everybody noticed, like, what they took away from that. I, I couldn't tell you, but um, I think everybody noticed. Cool. Thank you. Jessica had had some great luck at this arena, you know, taking the belt, you know, sort of resting that fight when she was, some might think that she was losing and then was able to to take it at the very end. Is she the kind of fighter that you have to prepare for her to be dangerous all the way through the fight? Or do you envision that she might tire out if you can push your pace that you want to push on her? No, it's the UFC. Like, it's dangerous every minute you're in the octagon. I would never count on, like, somebody gassing out and being like, oh, yeah, they're going to gas. Like, no, this is the UFC. Like, she's going to be at her very best, and she's going to be dangerous every second that we're in there. So I got to be on my A game. Are you one that likes to visualize the walking out into the, the arena and the taking in the crowd? And if so, what do you envision that you're going to feel like and what it's going to sound like and, and be like walking out there on Saturday? Yeah, I do. I envision that kind of stuff a lot. Like, I'm, I'm pumped to fight in front of the Brazilian fans because they're so notorious for, like, the energy that they bring to all the events and, like, like, I, I love it. I love to come in and, like, be the villain and be the underdog and, like, spoil people's plans and spoil their party. And so, yeah, I'm expecting them to really support Jessica. And uh, that's that's what the fans are supposed to do. That's what they do. I think it's pretty badass, actually, when, like, you have a whole arena full of people and the energy is just so intense like that. Like, obviously, they're going to want their – this is Jessica's hometown. I think she grew up, like, like not far from here. So, um, obviously, they're going to be cheering for her and – yeah, I'm I'm actually pumped to hear it. Like I can't wait to ride off that energy. Is it is it more exciting knowing that you're fighting so close to someone's home? I mean, is it to to, to play the heel, to, you know, more so than ever before because you're so, you are so close to her home. 
Yeah, it does. It makes it pretty fun for me. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, just uh, last one, camp. You know, did you bring anybody particular in to try to mimic her style? And how was camp for the for her this week? Uh, camp this, went great. Camp? Yeah, this whole camp was great. Um, I have some really good training partners up in Denver. I work with like some of the best women in the world. Um, some guys too, but yeah, I have a couple of training partners that have given me really good looks for her like size and her style and stuff. And um, just like really is more about me like practicing what we're going to do, feeling confident in what we're going to do, knowing that I can go out and execute the game plan and then going out on Saturday night and doing it. And uh, we had a lot of opportunities this camp to practice it and dial it in. And yeah, I feel good about it. Like you said, it's only the second time that you're fighting outside of the U.S. Uh, and you're, you're fighting this place that you mentioned, like this wild uh, experience for a fighter. Did you do anything uh, to, to get ready uh, mentally for, for this type of uh, environment? Um, like to come in, do you mean like to come into like a hostile territory? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, like nothing too crazy different. I always do like some visualization. I, I have um, some like tools that I've picked up over my career that, you know, help keep my mind in a good place. And I would use those tools if I was fighting at home. If I was fighting here, I would use those tools if I was fighting in Alaska. You know, I grew up in Alaska and like if I were to like fight there, I would still use all those tools to make sure that like my mind and my attitude were all in a good place coming in, you know, so yeah. Andrade is a top five in, in two different divisions, uh, and like you, you, you fought recently against uh, Chepchenko, but you think that getting a big win over her, maybe a finish on Saturday, gets you right back to that, to that position to, to fight Valentina again? I don't see why not. Mm -hmm. Valentina was was complaining recently about uh, not 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 having uh, not seeing many fighters call her out. Do you plan on doing that on Saturday? win uh, yeah i haven't even thought about it like we just have to see how the fight goes and see what's going to happen you know before we start talking about what i'm going to do afterward like yeah i i don't know what's going to happen after the fight we just got to get through the fight first Is that it are we done hell yeah okay <laughs>